so there's a lot of changes coming our way at the moment as marketers. Um, that's impacting us both of our, our roles really across uh, marketing technology and um, attribution and data science. Maybe we can dive through a few of those right now. So let's kick it off and, and look at the marketing technology side of things. What's happening there? As privacy laws kind of develop over the years, we're, we're constantly trying to find uh, more ways to maintain the quality of data that we have whilst also um, maintaining privacy considerations for, for the users and maintaining what of their sort of preferences are. Um, one of the sort of biggest changes or bigger changes that have happened in, in recent times is uh, the Digital Marketers Act. So um, they released a, a list of what they consider the gatekeeper organizations, which um, to no one's surprise are sort of the big companies. They've been releasing solutions to try and um, be compliant with this new legislation. Um, different bits of tech that will help improve the data quality whilst again still maintaining um, privacy. Uh, one of the key, one, key ones that a lot of people may have heard of is uh, consent mode. So with regards to these changes then what is it that a business or brand right now can do to stay on the, the right side of handling that data compliantly? So one of the um, probably most obvious things to do is um, to use a consent management platform or a CMP as, as they're known. So what that is, is, and you know, most people would have seen these um, as the browsing the web is, is with those pop-ups that appear and ask, you know, do you consent to cookies? What cookies do you consent to? But one thing that I think is really key to check as a business is whether or not what you have in place is actually functional. You'd be surprised the amount of consent management platforms that are there that are implemented but not actually doing what they should do in the background so certainly check with you know your developers make sure that what's in place is actually functioning and that it's actually listening to what users do consent to so so looking at the consent management platform is a great way i guess of tackling that sort of head-on headwind around dealing with consent and marketing consent in this case for for that data that's obviously going to have an impact on data quality and i know there's a few different pieces of technology we can use to sort of enhance that information, make sure that we're still providing some information to the ad platforms and actually go one step further and make sure we're, we're plugging those gaps as well. Maybe you could talk around a few of those options. By not having various different JavaScript libraries just collecting the data that they see fit, you can control exactly what data is collected on your site to your server side container and you can redact any information that you consider private and that shouldn't be sent to the platforms um, Obviously, this is um, fundamentally controlled by whether or not the user had consented to uh, tracking in the first place. And if that's the case, then, then obviously uh, the rest of this can happen. I think one of the biggest ways to improve uh, data quality uh, is to start moving towards more of a server-side tracking environment. It has a ton of benefits. Um, first of all, um, you have much more control over your data instead of having various different JavaScript libraries, client side, just collecting what data they see fit. You control exactly what is sent to uh, to the platforms and then passed on to the ad actual advertised platforms. One of the other key benefits is that because you're removing all of that JavaScript bloat, you're inherently making your site faster. Uh, you're removing a lot of the unneeded code essentially. These server-side containers are, they, they tend to point to, or at least we recommend pointing them to a first-party domain. So that means that your cookies that are getting set are in a first-party context, which means that they'll last longer and give you better data when it comes to tracking things like uh, conversions. Another benefit of um, having um, a server-side uh, tracking setup is that you can connect to other platforms. So uh, another platform instead of your website might be your CRM. Um, especially if you're a lead gen uh, business and you, you might have a, a longer conversion funnel to when a, a lead actually becomes a customer. Um, you can send conversion data that's not just for the, from an initial lead. You can send qualified leads or any sort of step within your funnel that you think would benefit being tracked. You can send that through to your um, server-side container and then pass that onto the marketing platforms. Uh, and then again, in turn, you can optimize towards those high leads. So you can really start to close that conversion loop and uh, start optimizing to uh, better quality leads essentially.